Welcome to Flash Basics Tutorial 3. It's titled Text, Strings, and Action Script. I have the CS5 programmed open. I'm going to open a new FLA. Keep the default as it is. And I am in what's called the Classic View. Click Windows. Come down here click on workspace and then click classic and make sure classic is selected up here I want to start by doing a simple text so layer one let's just call it text s i m p text simple and this is what's called static text select layer one put my stage down to about fifty percent I got my text tool and there's some place for text and write in S T A T I C static text make this much smaller than that and if you open the properties panel up and call it static text right there and you see there's no name so we can't write any code on static text it has all the other things that a regular text would have like font size and and different types fo different fonts and different places for indexing so it's just like regular text if we wanted to write text on it we can turn it into a movie clip so pick up your selection tool highlight it modify it convert it to a symbol make it a movie clip and we'll call it text t e x t simp s i m so no it's simple text underscore m c and now it's a movie clip lock this layer make a layer new layer call it action script a s open that actions box and I think it was T E X T S I M underscore M C. I believe that was what it was. Period. The x axis, for example, equals, pick half the stage, around 200. And T E X T S I M underscore M C. Period. The y axis. Let's make that equal to 200 also. And let's see if we can do this. Test the movie, test. And it tells us undefined properties. So let's open this up. And why are they undefined? Because when we made it a movie clip, we didn't give it a property name. So go back to this simple text right here select it open the properties panel give it an instance name T E X T S I M underscore M C there it is and let's physically take it off the stage and the action script should put it back on this movie and it puts it on the stage and there's no errors lock the all the layers open the actions layer again frame one and let's get rid of this we don't want to use it anymore so let's click in front of it and put two back slashes that will stop the program from reading it as program and in here I want to type in type 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 this information it says function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, that's a purplish color. And this is just a name I'm picking to write, W-R-I-G-H-T, bracket, open bracket, who, this is a name I'm giving it, colon, and this is a string function. Close bracket, colon, void. Void ends up the same color as function, and string is a capital S, and it's blue. And what it says is, Anytime you see the word who, 
it's going to become what is ever in the word right. So down here in the word right, I have John. And down here in the word right, I have Mary and John. This function is followed by an open bracket and a closed curly bracket. And here is a what's called a trace statement. T-R-A-C-E, it turns blue. There's the open bracket for the trace statement. There's the closed bracket. And this is a string. Nothing fancy. This is a string. When things are in quotations, like hello, comma, close quotation, that's in quotations, they will be printed as you see them. Hello, comma. Over here, open quotation, there's a space, have a good day, and there's another close quotations and a close bracket. That will be printed as you see it. But here I have this plus sign. It's not for adding. It's saying put this word, a word in between these two pieces of string. And the word we're going to put in was what is in who. Now go back to me, back to here. Who contains what's in right. And right will contain John in one case. And in the second case it will contain Mary and John. So when I tell this to run, we're going to get two trace statements. One's going to say, hello, John, have a good day. Hello, Mary and John, have a good day. Don't forget your semicolon here, semicolon here, semicolon here. And if you have that right, this will not show up anymore. Control, test movie. We have nothing on the stage, but we traced it. It said, hello, John, have a good day. Hello, Mary and John, have a good day. So back to the timeline. Let's delete this line altogether. Right click, delete. And notice that that static text deleted. Let's go to our library and delete this because we're not using this anymore. Delete this. Insert a new layer. Click on that layer and draw it down here. And call this layer a name. That's what's calling it a name. Come down to your stage, pick up your text tool again, and make a little text box. And let's drag it down here in the corner out of the way for now. Go over to the properties panel, make sure it says dynamic text and it does we can write an instance name on it and we're going to call it a capital n a m e a name underscore text txt that's my form for text and again it has all these properties that we can work with close that lock that layer we're not going to write anything in here it's just dynamic text open your actions panel and we can delete these lines we don't need them anymore and type in this code a name underscore text that's that box text box we just made period text they will turn blue equals in quotations I got the name Billy followed by a semicolon and if I ran that, it would just simply say Billy down here. But I'm also going to come down here and put another line in and write W-R-I-G-H-T, the same write, open bracket. And I'm going to put this, copy this. This is like a, what's called a variable now. It's like a variable. Copy, paste it in here, put a bracket semicolon and now it will when we start when we test this movie it'll put the word Billy in that text box we just made and we'll get three traces this time one saying hello John have a good day hello Mary John have a good day and hello Billy so let's control test test movie there's the Billy sign let's look at this lower part for a minute John have a good day, Mary have a good day, and Billy have a good day. And what this is telling us 
is that we need to what's called embed that dynamic text. So close that, go back to the timeline, click here, pull this up, unlock this names layer, it's selected, there's my that text, open it up, and down here you'll see the word embed. Click on it, double click, and it opens up. And this is all the different things you might want to embed, all the fonts and things. And if you're not scrapped for space, just click OK. And now that stuff is embedded. What's that mean? It sends it with it so that just in case the receiver doesn't have all the fonts you use. We're back on the scene one main timeline. I have the last layer selected. I'm locking the layers. I'm inserting a new layer and I'm calling this in text I N T E X T this is input text where the person watching the video or watching this program when it runs they can put information so we're clicking here pick up the text box again making a long skinny line like this go to the properties panel make sure we select this again and we want to make this uh, input text input and we're going to call this Y capital Y capital N A M E your name underscore TXT and all this is going to let us do is put some text in here pick up your rectangle tool if you haven't got it click that corner pick up the rectangle tool I want no fill so where the bucket is come up here no fill and make a square around this and in our case it's going to be a red square let's test this movie and all we've added was the ability to type some text in here now notice that is the text started in the middle and I'll show you why that took place if we have the text box selected the blue one not the red one down here we have this one selected so that when we write things start in the middle we can align it to the left we can align it to to justify itself or it can be right aligned it's either one normally this is used or this I think that's enough for now there'll be a follow-up tutorial on these text strings and action script it'll be tutorial number four Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.